Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking all about PC case stickers, a topic that you probably don't think a whole lot about, but of course I'm talking about those little stickers that you'll find on the front of OEM computers that you buy from anywhere from a retail store or online you're typically going to have at least a windows 10 sticker somewhere on the machine uh, you may also have an intel or an amd sticker as well to signify the processor that's inside and these were very common on old computers as well in fact the windows 98 pc that i have has both a windows 98 sticker and an intel sticker right on the front underneath the cd or now it's a dvd drive uh, and they're to the left and the right of the floppy disk drive i just always found these to be pretty cool but if you're out at a thrift store or a garage sale and you happen to find a vintage computer the odds of some of these stickers being on the front are pretty hit or miss because some people would take them off they can get torn over time and just not look as great as they originally did and in some cases it might not have even had stickers on it at all to begin with well that's what today's video is about because we're gonna be talking about some replica PCK stickers uh, that are produced by a seller on eBay. Now, I came across this guy through a video from Billy Core, who runs the Nostalgia Mall channel. I'll have his video linked down below, but I, I came across this video where he also purchased some of these stickers from this seller, and he linked the eBay seller in the description, and I went and checked his stuff out, and I was like, you know, this would be really cool to showcase on the channel, not only for the novelty of it, but also that this could be really useful if you happen to find a vintage computer that doesn't have the PCK stickers on the front. This guy is selling reproduction stickers that look very close to the original ones, and he's also created some custom ones that I think are super cool. Some that you could put on your modern computer, for example. So I'll have his eBay page linked down below if you want to go check him out. And uh, what I have here, I believe I purchased uh, four or five of these stickers and in total it cost me around uh, it was just over ten dollars i believe and this is the letter uh, that he sends you this is just a standard letter here this is his name or his seller name on ebay and this is his uh page on instagram if you want to go follow him and because these are stickers they are just sent through you know regular mail they're just sent in an envelope there's no you know packages or anything like that so here they are. So you can see we got this Best Buy one here. We're going to be talking about that. I'll probably save that to the end of the video. I'll go ahead and hide uh, what's on it for now because this one is super, super cool. Uh, but all of these are super, super cool. Uh, and here they are right here. So we're going to open this up and we're going to take a closer look at all of these pretty awesome PCK stickers. So this is the first one right here, and it has the MS-DOS logo on it. Now, I'm not sure if this was ever a real thing, like if these stickers were ever produced and, and sold with MS-DOS computers, but even if they weren't, this is still a pretty neat thing to just stick on an old DOS machine that you have. Now, uh, some of these stickers were, you know, they, they were made of that like metal-ish material. They were a very thick uh, material. I don't, I don't really want to say it was metal, but it felt like it was metal, right? Not all of them were like that, but some of them were. Uh, these are not like that. These are more of your typical sticker material. You can bend them pretty easily. Uh, so just, you know, keep that in mind. But these things only cost, you know, a couple dollars each. And like I said, all of these uh, together cost me just over $10 with shipping included, which obviously shipping is pretty cheap because it just gets sent through the mail. I think it, I think you only charge me like 50 cents to ship all of these. All right. So to show you these next two, I've got the Windows 98 PC out here and I've got a really close up shot of the sticker on the front. Uh, now, this is one of those stickers that is made of that thicker material that these stickers are not made out of. But this one right here is a design for Windows 95 sticker, and you can see it is very, very close uh, to the original one here. They've got the layout like pretty much exactly the same. And I actually got this one for the $5 Packard Bell because it is missing a Windows 95 sticker. Now, I'm not sure if it came with one originally, but it has an Intel sticker on the front. So I just took a guess and thought, well, there was probably a Windows 95 sticker next to it at some point because this is the operating system that it uh, shipped with. So there you go. That's what it looks like. A very, very close replica. The only thing that's different is the uh, texture that's on the background here. You see there's more of like a metal-ish look, even though this isn't, you know, this is just like a regular sticker. But this is more of a smooth one here. Like you don't have those little lines running through. See what I'm talking about there? But still, like, I think you could easily buy, because he also sells a, a Windows 98 one as well. Like say this computer didn't have this sticker on here. 
I'm certain that I could buy the Windows 98 replica one and stick it on here and no one would know that it wasn't the original sticker unless you pointed it out to them. I've got another one here that says designed for Microsoft Windows 10, but it's got the old Windows flag and it's obviously modeled after the Windows 95 or the Windows 98 uh, stickers. And this is great. Actually, this was one of the ones that Billy purchased in his video. And uh, I think I'm gonna put this on the front of my main computer because hey, why not? It's pretty cool and it, you know, it's just very, very unique. We've got one more sticker to briefly showcase. And this was the one that you probably saw very briefly at the very beginning. It's one of these Y2K stickers right here, or at least what looks like a Y2K sticker. Now you've probably seen this, I'm certain that you've seen this before over on Twitter, if you use Twitter at all, uh, because somebody always posts this sticker or an image of it rather, on New Year's Eve of like every year for the past couple of years. And this says, remember, turn your computer off before midnight on 1231.99, obviously in preparation for the year 2000 problem. But if you feel like you missed out on all that year 2000 hysteria, fear not, because in about 20 years, we're gonna experience another year 2000-like problem, and that is, the year 2038 problem or Y2K38. So this is a custom modified version of that sticker with the obvious reference to the year 2000 problem, which I think is pretty cool. The Y2K38 problem, very, very briefly here, because I could do like a whole video on this, which might be worth doing like once we get closer to 2038, or I don't know, maybe I could do it like this year or next year sometime. But it has to do with the signed 32-bit integer that many Unix-based systems use to determine what time it is. Now they do this by counting up in seconds from a defined start point or epoch, which in the case of Unix-based systems is 000000 UT on January 1st, 1970. So Unix-based systems that store this value in a signed 32-bit integer are susceptible to the Y2K38 problem. Because after 31407 UTC on January 19th, 2038, that integer is going to overflow and cause the date to be erroneously displayed as sometime in 1901. Now you've probably seen this epoch or defined beginning point before, if a clock battery dies in an old computer. For example, here's my iBook G3 with a dead clock battery, and it warns me that the clock is set to a time before 2001. And sure enough, it thinks the date is December 31st, 1969. This iBook G3 clamshell running macOS 10.3 will be affected by the 2038 problem. In fact, the system outright prevents me from changing the date to any time in 2038, even though theoretically it should be able to handle the first couple of weeks of January just fine. But like I said, I could talk a lot more about this in another video. This is really just a simplified explanation, but for now, let's get those two stickers put onto my main PC. All right, so here we go. We're right in front of my main computer and let me grab the Windows 10 sticker right here. And let's, uh, let's put it on. So I think I'm gonna put it right here on the left side. So here it is. If the camera wants to focus, there we go, beautiful. So we're gonna peel this off and I think it's gonna go good right here. Let's just line it up. And there we go. That looks wonderful, doesn't it? Man, that looks really cool. So there we go. I think that's like the best place for it to go. Although I guess we could have put it like up towards the top, but you know, I think it looks good there on the bottom. So we'll move my computer aside. And the 2038 sticker, I'm going to stick right up here, I believe. We're gonna put it right on like the side here. That way, you know, you'll you'll see it because this is the side that I've got facing uh, towards the towards the rest of the room. So let me just uh, grab it here. And there we go, everybody. Doesn't that look great? I think that looks perfect. Um, now, one thing I noticed is the Best Buy logo looks pretty different compared to the one in the Y2K image. Still, it looks pretty official to me, and it would honestly be pretty cool if like Best Buy themselves, because this sticker is so widely shared online, if they kind of reproduced it and made one just like this for the year 2038 once it gets closer, kind of like a, you know, homage to uh, their, their sticker that they created uh, around Y2K. Though I'm not sure where those stickers ever showed up, like I'm not sure if they were 
placed on computers that Best Buy sold or if they were placed on computers in the store or if they just gave you the sticker to put on your computer. I don't know. But I was able to confirm that it is in fact a real sticker. There were like a, a few fact-checking websites that confirmed that yes, it is a real thing that, that Best Buy made if you were wondering. But yeah, there you have it guys. That's a that's a look at some pretty cool replica stickers that you can buy yourself for your vintage and modern computers. Like I said, I'll have this uh, you know this guy's eBay store page down below. And this isn't like a sponsorship or anything. I just found this to be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you want to go check them out uh, or just look on eBay for you know anyone selling these kind of stickers, feel free to do so. But that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.